Welcome back, everybody, to another one. It's me, Greg. We're going to Cleveland, but first, we're gonna stop in Knoxville at Holy Ghost Catholic Church, of course, to get in our Sunday obligation, Misa. The sunrise is great. Luckily, there are trees behind us right now, so you can't see them. And uh, we also don't have it focused. Uh, you, you can pan over there on that side. Maybe a little, I don't know, you can see that over there. Anyways, listening to a little bit of uh, Star Wars, you know, the some symphony playing this, and uh, let's go, Mr. Krabs. Look, Habanero's Fresh Tex Max. Oh, Cooperville, Tennessee. Are we in Tennessee? I don't think we are. We we are. Well, there we go. Welcome to Tennessee, everyone. S.O. Like, having one, one green light go, and then the other green light go. And we're the green light that's not going. We're the red light. That's big brain. Oh, it's, it's green. Oh, it's green. Nice. Goo goo. Here we go. We Our turn. <laughs> Catholic Church in Knoxville, Tennessee. Knoxville, Tennessee, and yeah, Jordan's got the spoon in her mouth, like we like. And so it's if we the get end an of accident, the spoon. it goes straight down our throat. But baby. you're not gonna get an accident. So. Sheesh. We're going to Clinton, Asheville. Just no, kidding. No, we're not. Hate Hillary Clinton. She has people killed. I mean, what do we have here? We have broccoli. And eggs, of course. The classic morning meal. This is the breakfast of choice as uh, as of right now. Soon to transition over to eventually oatmeal. And when I say eventually, I mean tomorrow. I will not have eggs and broccoli. I will be eating oatmeal and mangoes. Maybe we can pick up some other fresh fruit. Yummy, yummy, Mr. Krabs. I've been in fourth gear this whole time because I can't hear the engine yelling at me. Please put me in fifth. Now we've put her in fifth. And boy, does she ride better Driving now. with no hands. I do have a girlfriend and she could feed me, but... You didn't ask me. There we go. You didn't ask me. Would rather roast me. Oh, it's literally the forest or something. Shit. Here we are reporting from Tennessee. Uh, we're somewhere outside of Knoxville, maybe 20 miles. And um, what you could have seen behind me a couple, just a just a couple ten seconds ago, was smoke rising from the forest. It's looking like a forest fire was happening over here in Knoxville. As you can see, the smoke is over there, billowing up. I uh, don't know if they've got the firefighters out yet, but Smokey the Bear is not happy about this one. Um, luckily, we just crossed over a river, which means unless there are some embers that fly across the river, the other side should be fine. But definitely on this side, it's uh, they're cooking. I, and I'm not sure what they're cooking, but they need to get... They need to get some milk over here quick, pronto. Actually, some water would probably be more expedient in putting out this fire. This fire looks, you know, from my non-expert opinion, looks to be about, you know, 45 minutes old. So um, there's definitely, you know, it's not blazing yet, but you can see it's smoking up a bunch. I mean, either somebody's having a massive marijuana party over there, or uh, the fire is, uh, is is happening to the trees. Signing out. 
it's me, Greg. Hello, it's me again, and we're back because there is more smoke in... Okay. Uh, there is more smoke in Tennessee. Well, <laughs> you might have guessed where it's from. Yeah, because Tennessee is not uh, the smoking token capital of the United States. No, that would be Colorado or maybe Washington, one of those... Um, one of those more liberal states that, that where they like to have their citizens do drugs and stuff. So no, not Tennessee. It is just, it, it's looking like, um, I, I, I guess, maybe it hasn't rained for a little bit. You can see the smoke billowing up where I kind of, oh, over there, yep. Well, you know what, oh, and maybe I'm wrong. Now we're in Kentucky. Because now we're in Kentucky, so. Um, my apologies. No, the fire looks like it's in Kentucky. So now we've hit a fire in Kentucky and a fire in Tennessee. So what are we going to see next? A fire in Ohio? Well, I don't know. Maybe we should stop at the Welcome Center and ask some homeless people what they think. Homeless people. That's it for me. Signing out. It's Greg. Sayonara. Well, hello, everybody. It's me. Yeah, so we actually found Costco. They have the fuel um, for a pretty reasonable price here. You're looking in, hunchback. What's it called? Yeah, well, whatever. I mean, what can I do? What can I do? It's not like I can look anything else. Well, That's you the way were like. I am. Yeah, well, I'm hiding from the sun. Okay. Anyways, so we're here at Costco. About to get some gas. Take a look at the line. Yeah, there's there's no line. Like totally different from Atlanta. Here, let me start pumping, and Jordan can take this back. You hear all the birds? I hear all the birds. They're all over there. Wait, that's so cute. Can you video it from over there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, another thing we got to check out is. Okay, they've got planes coming in, obviously. We're very close to Cincinnati, but look at all those birds. That's a lot of birds. I need I need to get pumping. I need to get pumping. We're almost to Cincinnati. Um, and then we have another, how many more hours? Three and a half. We have another like three and a half hours, so almost, almost there. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Look, it's Cincinnati. Cincinnati. Wow, yeah. that's like kind of impressive. I hope we go over that bridge. Or there are a couple bridges. That's kind of fun. Well, I think one of those is a building. Oh, never mind. That's a stadium. The yeah. bridge is over there. Yeah. This, this, oh my. Okay, okay. That's what I like. Thank you. He's out. He's out oh my way, my baby. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you like this? Welcome to the East Coast. This is like the oh, first wow. big. It's like probably the first big bridge you've been on in your life. Yep. All right.
they are the cousins and we don't want to expose them, have, have them exposed to the internet, YouTube, or uh, any other video platforms, but we're out here. Uh, we had a great time, had dinner, had pizza last night. Would you look at all that grass? Very nice. Mr. Krabs, very, very nice. Grass. Well, well, well. Welcome to Pennsylvania. Pursue your happiness. Sounds a little progressive to me. Maybe you should pursue what the Lord wants. I'm gonna start doing that. I wonder if this I is. Mean, I think the, 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 what's the word? There's a word, Jordan. There's a word. Um, what's the word for it? The, the, Oh, they're working on it. St. Peter Cathedral. I don't. I wonder if this is Catholic. Unthought outness of it. Um, the, 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 you know, the pop-up part of it. This has got to be Catholic. For me. All right. Well, we'll talk to you soon. Yeah, see, see if you can drive by the Leopold, the, the Great Leopold Center for Renewal. That would be, that'd be nice. All right. All right. All right. Bye. Bye. Here it is, Lake Erie. Lake Erie, we're, we're out on a peninsula. I, there's some peninsula um, here in Erie and I forget what it's called. It's a state park. Yeah, I mean, it's a state park, but I forget what it's called. Anyways, look at all those seagulls. Look at all them seagulls. Look at those seagulls out there. There we go. What's over on the other side? Friggin' Canadia. This is the something something environmental center. The something environmental center. My hair looks like a garbage Tom can. Ridge. Huh? Tom Ridge. Tom Ridge Environmental Center at the peninsula here in Erie. There is this sick roller coaster over here and a nature play space. A nature play space? Seriously? Holy crap. Guess we can go inside here. I didn't even realize. Look at this. But would you look at this? Could you look at this nature place field? Ow, my knees. This is the nature place field. Okay. What? What's going on over there? I thought this stupid need to you. No, it wouldn't. Okay, I gotta get out of here before I hurt myself. That was underwhelming. And we're back. It's getting dark, but we're here at Penn State Erie. We're just driving around. It's looking like a little quaint, I don't know, something. It, it's, it's, it's very nice. Tell me what you think. Anyways, I was going to explain the Amish earlier, the Amish comments I made earlier. Well, the reason I knew that that car was Amish behind us was because I saw them at the gas station and they were Amish. So I, I have nothing against the Amish. I love the Amish. I don't even know why I love the Amish, but I do. Besides that, we just left Erie, and obviously we're, we're fairly close to Erie, but we're on our way to Buffalo, and uh, we didn't get the video coming right out of Erie because we were talking to my little brother, Swags, and you know what he said? He said he had a terrible day at the chicken factory or at the, 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 the chicken farm, okay? Because apparently he was tending to basically almost 200,000 chickens. I guess this Tyson, this Tyson farm, chicken factory farm thing, um, you know, it smells pretty bad. Uh, and you might imagine why. Okay, they don't care about the chickens. They don't care about the people who take care of the chickens. They only care about making the money. <laughs> Yo, Mr. Krabs, we're off to see Niagara, the wonderful Niagara Falls. 
and uh, we just spent the night at Danny's house, my cousin, my wonderful cousin Daniel. Look at that house. And uh, you know, this is the hood. This is the hood. The houses are a little bit on the packed inside over here. A little bit uh, tight. And you have cars all over the street, all parked up, baby. Anyway, so we slept on hardwood floor. So second night in the row, in, in a row, sleeping on the floor. It's uh, good stuff. Eventually here, we're gonna end up getting out of the car and actually doing things. So we'll see you at Niagara Falls, the wonderful Niagara Falls. We sort of have no idea where we're going. Oh yeah, Mr. Krabs. It's Niagara Falls and we're the only people here, I think. Where are we? I think we're here. That's the visitor center. We want to go to the observation deck, observation tower. You are here. Oops. You can either go left and then up around to the observation tower deck, whatever. Or we can go right and we can go over there. It's a black squirrel. Look, oh my gosh, it's literally black. A literal black squirrel. Hey, it's me and this black squirrel. Holy guacamole. How would you like to be a fish? Here it is. The falls, Niagara Falls. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. It's huge. We should call you a little later tonight. Well, li listen, he just wanted to tell you that yeah. Pa, pa inter introduced him to a, a, a Vietnamese woman who owns four Japanese restaurants. He called and he's like, hey, I got, you know. Got, and he was speaking in Vietnamese. Yeah, and because, he's like, I got yeah. somebody that needs a job. And she's like, oh, well, bring him over. And so they went over and yeah, we went over and then it was like, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, so Thursday, so. You know, you can start on Thursday. Yeah. Hey! Here. <laughs> That's a little fucking GoPro, dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah! yeah. Shit. Shit, dude. Okay. We'll, we'll, set, we'll set it up over here. But, yeah, dude. Um, dude, if you put shit like this, like, they like... When I said I stream, they're like, what? Like, I'm like, they don't know anything. Like, girly, you're literally, you're literally swinging this. You're gonna break this. Okay. Are right, you ready? I'm gonna jump out. Yeah, go ahead. Go on. <laughs> okay. Walmart. Is it coming in clutch? With the berries? The peanut butter? The bananas. Here we are. Look at that beautiful sun. It's actually kind of pretty over here right now. 
So, the dealio is we're here in Middle PA. I'm not gonna disclose the locale, but we're in Middle PA. We're visiting a friend. Everyone knows who this friend is or everyone doesn't. Am I right? Yeah. And you know him? if you know him, you know him, lucky you. If you don't, find a friend in Middle PA. Good morning. <laughs> You already know what it is. We're out here. Found a rest stop um, in the middle of PA. And yeah, it's pretty awesome actually. Um, oh, can you see the moon up there? Very nice. Anyways, found a rest stop in the middle of PA. I think it's about 36 degrees. So really not bad. The, uh, <coughs> It's just so much exhaust around here because of all of the trucks. So I think we went to bed around 10. It's like six right now, but you know, my hip is kind of sore. Um, you know, this is the it's a rest area. It's actually a pretty nice rest area. It's kind of warm. My hair is messed up. Can't film in the restroom though. This one's actually. I actually like this rest stop. It's on I-80. Actually, uh, here, I'll walk back in and show, show you where we're at. Not that it really matters, but let's see. Okay, here's where we are in the grand scheme of PA. Right here. So, like I said, we were, we were up in Erie. And then Buffalo is a little ways further up there and we came down from Buffalo all the way to middle PA yeah so that was that kind of fun this first stop is pretty reasonable well lit we didn't have anybody banging on our window or anything but there were a lot of trucks that came through in the evening as you can see there are a lot of trucks for a for a reasonably small rest area i mean not all of the parking spots are filled up but it smells like absolute exhaust out here absolute exhaust maybe we'll film a little time lapse of the of the car break down here in a couple seconds so wait for it Stop and get some gas, stop and get some hot water for our oatmeal. And then we are gonna be on our way to Mount Davis, but the evening was pretty good. I slept on the uh, better side. I think I only woke up like three or four times. And uh, Jordan, on the other hand, go on Jordan. I slept like a baby. She slept like a baby. Well, I, I woke so up twice, but it was- pooped her pants and- <laughs> Oh my gosh. And spit up That's all not true. Oh. <laughs> we are listening to okay son rude rude son we're listening to the lord of the rings I, I think it's the lord of the rings musical it is um garbage it is straight garbage it sounds so bad so bad this song is uh called the song of hope and um I said, I hope it stops. <laughs> I mean, this is like the best song that we've heard. <laughs> and she still hope it's, she still hope it stops, hopes it stops. It's a bird, it's a plane. 
no, it's a fly. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. What, what's not to like? Good answer. We're here at the memorial for Flight 93, which was one of the four planes that were hijacked on 9-11. A little piece of history here. Definitely a rough piece of our history. So there's a boulder down here where the, where the plane crashed. Wait, I'm not seeing the boulder. So we went through the memorial. There were recordings you could listen to of people's calls they made they made out they were on the plane they realized that you know the plane they were trying to crash the plane and these the people on the plane made an effort to get the terrorists to not go for Washington DC they were they were trying to you know disrupt them terrorists ended up bringing the plane down in PA um, yeah, those calls were challenging to listen to. Oh, the little girls. We're gonna hike to these places, baby. No, I don't think so. Yes. So we sweet. done fudged up. Dang it. Well, we took the dying shortcut. Yeah, we want to hike it. We don't want to just drive around. Bowman's Rock. Okay, so this is... This is, uh, you know, part of one of the high points of PA. Well, I mean, this is in the park. Okay, please, please chill. Okay, this this is actually, you know, you think, oh, it's not that far down. It, you know, it's a little ways. It's probably like 10, 15 feet. I'm not gonna fall. Holy crap. Anyways, so look, look all over the place. That's so much fun. Anyway, so uh, he hid the dude's, he hid his son's body because he thought um, he killed him because he hit him with a stick because he was being slow and he hit him amongst these rocks and then the body disappeared so now we're going to disappear from here like they have like different types of yeah we're like at the top there's the lookout how to go up there Puppy. All right. We're ready, Mr. Oh, Kraft. Yeah, it's steep. Here we are at the top. I'm gonna be honest. I am afraid of heights a little bit. And so am I afraid right now? A yes. little bit. <laughs> Whew, Mr. Kraft. Yeah, this is kind of cool though. There we go, highest point in PA. Cha-ching! So we came to this park and um, we thought it was gonna be super cool, but I mean, apparently that guy, I don't really know why his plaque is there, but he was the uh, disabled people's hunting person. This place is awesome! And we gotta get mayonnaise because Jordan is, um. I'm getting hangry. Yeah, and that sounded a whole lot better than what she had said before. Laurel Hill Lake Dam. So there's the lake, and then we're walking to the dam. Maybe you can hear it in the background. Whoa! Crazy! Oh yeah, can you see it? You cannot see it. There it is. There we go, that's it. Okay, bye. That was really fun. We're really going to get mayonnaise. Okay, just went into LA Fitness and I signed up for the multi-state because I apparently wasn't signed up before, which is kind of annoying. I'm gonna come back after we have dinner with Jordan's home girl, and then we're gonna what? get in. My home girl. 
Okay, just kidding. Not Jordan's homegirl. Yeah, but why do you have to call it a? Why do you have to call her a homegirl? It's just my, like my friend. She's my friend. Oh, my bad. Her friend. I'm not some hood rat. I don't have homegirls. See you later. All right. We're going into the classic Goodwill before we go to Dinden with her, with Jordan's homegirl. Yeah. Yeah. If she, you know, she gets so aggro at me at saying homegirl. Also, look at that cemetery over there. It's huge. Look at all of this cool stuff all over here in the. What the f is going on? What is going on right here? Does that look like your cat? Does that look like a normal one to you? Doesn't look very normal to me. These are the oatmeal bowls from this morning. We gotta wash them, we, you know, and this is what happens when you're on the road. You have to go to the back of the freaking restaurant because we're gonna end up going to that restaurant. You gotta clean your stuff, clean off your bowls. All right, this is gonna take too long, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna clean them and stop. I'm gonna stop recording and then I'm gonna finish cleaning them. I've, I've got the hiccups. We got the uh, we got the bowls cleaned. Okay, let me show you my setup here. I got my bread. I got my yeah. This is canned chicken from there, canned it up or uncanned it. Sorry, uncanned it up and uh, and then put some mayo, uh, which we got the mayo packets from McD's. And then mixed it up, um, and now we got sandwiches. They're honestly not bad. The only thing is, we didn't bring any seasoning, so it's just mayo and chicken. But honestly, it's honestly it's good because I haven't eaten since I um, since I ate oatmeal earlier today. I need to get my protein in. Also, gotta go to L.A. After, after we eat over here at this restaurant, um, I'm having like I'm having like pre-restaurant meal to just make it cheaper. Um, and also, I just like brought a bunch of food. So, why am I going to spend a bunch of money out eating out when I have food that I can eat? I mean, not to say I'm, I am going to eat when I go in there. Trust. I want to get in the food that I already brought. Also, I got this banana as well. <laughs> Obviously, so yeah, that's uh, that's a setup. Here we are coming to you live from inside the car. We're at a service plaza. Yeah, and the GoPro does not record very well in the dark, so. <laughs> Speaking of, no, oh, there we go. That's it. Well, see you in the morning. Good morning. Sunday morning. Just kidding. It is Thursday morning. What is it? Hey, la last night was not cold. Okay, I we started to get hot. I got out of the sleeping bag. I was out of the sleeping bag the entire time. Here's a little. Stalker over here. Somebody's, somebody's watching me. Watching me from the car. But look at these cabbages. Raw honey. Oh, this is peach cider. And they have raw honey as well. Organic eggs, local. They're out. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I don't see the greenhouse, but maybe it's around here somewhere. The greenhouse is right there. You do yeah, I know. I know that's a greenhouse, but it's not like they have anything set up in there. Because they probably grow it at their house. Fibbers. How much is that? Eight bucks. Eight bucks. That's a deal. Stop getting so close to my face. Ironically, um, we're actually on a country road, believe it or not. 
right now. <laughs> so, so, so Hoy Crest is the highest point in Maryland and it is dumping outside and will be dumping for the foreseeable future. Basically, the weather may not be cooperating with us on this one. Hashtag. point in West Virginia. Here we are. Welcome to the jungle. This is where we can't really see very much. I just hope there's not a serial killer out here because um, we didn't bring any cereal. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> okay. Well, actually, visibility is uh, uh, could be better. All right, here we are on top of the mountain. Look at that. You can see the clouds billowing in. Yeah, uh, this is uh, this is the Whispering Spruce Trail, 900 feet to the observation tower. So just uh, a little, you know, little walk over here. And if you see here, there's so much lichen on the ground um, and on, on the trees. You know, why? You you might ask the question why. My answer is, is because we're up in the clouds. I should have grabbed my beanie. Look at that. Look, that, that's just amazing. What's going on with that jaw? Let me get some... Uh, it's cold. And look at this. Do you see a face there? Here's one eye. Here's another eye. Here's the mouth. So we drove up. This was going to be a very long hike if we didn't. This is going to be 11 something odd miles. I think it's 11.3. Yeah, it would have taken us a very long time. Not even kidding. So, yeah, we're uh, we're hanging out in the clouds over here. Here is the observation tower. We are here all by ourselves. So you know, not really your favorite horror story in the making. I don't really know. Maybe you like horror movies. Maybe you don't. There are like a few other cars here in the parking lot. When we get to the top here. Maybe there will be something cool to see. Oh yeah, Mr. Krabs. It's actually pretty cool, um, but obviously can't see past these trees at all. Not even close. It's apparently gonna be partially cloudy at two and a half hours from now. So we are going to have to wait to see a little bit more than we can see right now. So we will be going to the car, watching some probably League of Legends if we have any service, or we'll just hang out and then we'll come back. I think this is from Over the Garden Wall. I think it is too. Which I love. So the bad thing was we could not get <laughs> these clouds don't leave so yeah that's unfortunate we made it to the highest point in West Virginia it just was not available for us to utilize to the maximum so we'll see about this scenic overlook here in a couple seconds oh, yeah here's the overlook well we've had a turn of events yeah, the sun will come out today. So we're going back up. We're see we're gonna see if it clears. Here this. comes the sun. Yeah. So we listened to this song by Sarah Bareilles. Actually, my cousin suggested a song with the same title by a different artist, but it's called Chasing the Sun. And the song that I've listened to before and that is actually really good, in my opinion, is Chasing the Sun by Sarah Bareilles. And 
That's what this entire uh, trip has felt like. I'm being a little exaggerative, if that's a word. Nice. Oh, shit. We made it. We made it back. It's not the best. It's not the best view. There are a couple other ones to see. The clouds cleared out. Jordan's about to have an asthma attack. We had to run out here. It's better over here. Look at this vantage point. Oh my gosh. Kind of crazy. this out. Here's a little 360 of this vantage point. It's kind of crazy. Here we are, we stopped at some place. I will put the name here. There's like a radio telescope. They have radio, uh, a radio telescope here, out here in the middle of West Virginia. And uh, it's got some history about it, I guess. What is this? This is interesting. What can we see here? Wow, I'm looking fat. No way, no way. Can you control this? You can control this. No way. That's kind of, that's kind of awesome. I don't know which one this is. Maybe it's, maybe it's this, question mark. Disaster loss and progress. Why GBT is here. Think you're having a bad day. Sometimes telescopes have them too. Move it around. I know, I was freaking out. We're gonna get a real meal, okay? At my favorite restaurant so far in the world, Chipotle. Actually, I like the Persian basket a lot. That one's pretty good. Uh, just got out of Chipotle. The, uh, the thing is, <laughs> their grand opening is tomorrow, so um, we fudged up. We were, we, were, we were one day early, okay? They had cupcakes. Um, they were ready for the party, the grand opening party, so we're going to have to get some type of different grub. And so here we are in the car. We stopped at a rest area that actually doesn't have any facilities. And of course, uh, it, we... We tried to stop at a at a uh, rest plaza or service plaza or something like that. Travel. Travel plaza. It, that was like what we had stayed in last night. But this travel plaza, I, I had an eerie feeling about this travel plaza when I saw that the signs for the travel plaza had like everything. They were like big signs and it looked like they were supposed to have things on them that said, oh, like, here McDonald's is at the Travel Plaza. There's other things at the Travel Plaza. All of that was like ripped off. It looked at it like it had been ripped off. I was like, oh, okay, uh, the Travel Plaza is looking like it's gonna turn out to be a little scuffed. Well, Travel Plaza is under construction, okay? So we uh, almost pull off on the Travel Plaza, do not. It's just like super dark where the Travel Plaza is supposed to be. And there are trucks lined all around. And so we're like, okay, well, we're, we're not gonna stay there. This was the first option, the rest area, and ended up being our final option. So we're here 
And uh, yeah, there was obviously no Chipotle because they're opening tomorrow. So instead, we're cracking open the Aussie Bites. And we went to Food Line, got some kefir and uh, some peppers. And so that's gonna be dinner. And of course, have a little extra protein myself. And uh, we're gonna kick back, but it's probably gonna be it for tonight. A little bit of a rough uh, end to the day, but it's been a good day. Um, and my hamstrings are still tight as all get out. So, anything to add? No. Mr. Krabs. All right, we're back. And here's the update. It is garbage, garbage outside. And so we have made a change of plans. Tomorrow, the weather is supposed to be a little bit better to hike the highest point in VA. We're kind of banking on it actually being good tomorrow. So anyways, we're going to visit my brother and dad in a little town in North Carolina, undisclosed location. And uh, possibly, <laughs> so, what? what? <laughs> Why did you say it like that? Okay, because it's gonna be undisclosed. So, my, I, I'm pretty sure yesterday I cracked a spring um, for my suspension. I called my uncle, he's a car guy, and yeah pretty sure I cracked a spring and so he said I could replace it so I think today is gonna be hanging out with my dad and brother and um, replacing the spring if possible and maybe making a little maybe making a little trip to LA fitness <laughs> you know to get a little workout in I'm gonna have to figure out what that's gonna be the weather has just not been good you know we've seen the Sun probably maybe 10% of the time maybe less so that's not true we've seen it more than that 15 percent of the time <laughs> anyways so um yeah that's it here we are the first tunnel we've ever gone through like probably the longest tunnel as well somewhere Ooh. in west virginia no this you think this is a little tunnel this is pretty long actually I was so cool. Yeah, the first, uh, the first probably big tunnel Jordan's been through since she's a little Floridian. You're gonna have to put like a, a seizure warning on this. Yeah, by the way, seizure warning, heads up. Virginia's for lovers. Aww. Uh, that is so nice. Tunnel number dose coming in hot, Mr. Krabs. Here we are. Oh, so mouth breathers bypass this. It's one of the reasons you mouth breathing is so detrimental because you're bypassing a fundamental electrical oxide production cascade. Wow. But if you and we're immediately oh, I on start the trail. The... She's got to start, start the, the all trails. trails. It's supposed to be like 1,700 feet of elevation gain. We'll see. You know, this is going to be the. The longest hike we've ever done. So, um, Wait, what? What? Oh, great. Now we have a weight, Gregory. We shed some layers already. We're like ogres, we shed layers. Um, actually, a lot of people on this trail today, and we hope to set a fast pace since we're so young. Look, Jordan's already beating the sh shnikes out of me. We are approaching one of the main attractions of Mount Rogers here in Virginia. That would be the wild ponies. They're not supposed to pet them, so we can tattle on anyone who does. And so this is what we have decided is making all the poops around here. It's the poopy ponies. They're just eating grass and pooping all over the place. Oh, it's branded with a little W. What is that for, winners? 
Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Well, this one's got an itch. This one's got an itch right over here. Ooh, yeah. You know who he looks like? He looks like Donkey from Shrek. We keep getting to one peak and thinking we've made it to the top, you know, foolishly. And then we discover there's more to go. This may continue on for we're quite some like, time. We're only like 1.8 miles in. The kid up on the hill said that this was fat man squeeze. And maybe it makes sense because if I was fat, I would uh, squeeze myself in order to get up here. Squeeze my leg. Oh. oh, I guess this is the way. Oh, okay, this must be Fat Man Squeeze. It's kind of hard to hold the camera and go through here at the same time. Jordan? freaking me out. It makes sense that this is Fat Man Squeeze. I think like one of my greatest fears is that uh, <laughs> I'm under the ground and then I get crushed. Fear of crushing? Pretty normal probably. More ponies. Would you look over there? Hey pony. Pony pony. Okay. Look they're about I don't know, four feet tall? Four feet tall? Mm. Huh? You just don't get kicked in the face. Kinda. <laughs> Amazing. Look at behind you, the tree. Huh? All the trees. Look at this forest. Look at it. Would you just look at it? All right, here's the dealio. That's what we came here to find. That's the top. We're at the top. We're at the highest point in Virginia. Virginia. There it is. That's it. Mr. Krabs made it to the top. Here it is. Welcome to my crib. Just kidding. It's a Thomas Knob shelter. And it's, a, it's my understanding that what people do is when they're on the AT, Appalachian Trail, sometimes they'll bunk up in here. And let's see. Well, well, well. It's a two story. So you really are going to have to check out my crib. Here's a ladder. Look at this. Mr. Krabs. Mr. Krabs might live up here. Where's Mr. Krabs? Oh my goodness, there you go. <laughs> They're probably packing in here like sardines. That is not my crib, but obviously making jokes. Yeah, like I said, they have these shelters all throughout the AT. And um, obviously some people have you know, decorated, done, done some decorating. You have the memes here, all the memes you want. Crazy Harry, Crazy Larry's Hostel. What? Have you seen him? And some of these are funny. Steal your pace. Core running company. There you go. Virginia's for lovers. F plus M. Fanny plus Mary. 317, 21. Hopefully Fanny and Mary are still together. Believe it or not, people, let's see, trail shelter log. So you say, write your thoughts about the Appalachian Trail experience. Please leave a log in the shelter for others to enjoy. Have a great hike. Let's, let's, pick, out a, let's pick out a random one from here. Visiting 
for our one year anniversary. Beautiful and sunny day. Aw, oh, that is so sweet. There it is, the bear box. We thought, we thought it would be a box you could get in to hide from the bears, but it's not. It's um, for food, to hide the food from the bears. All right, and Jordan is uh, out of here. <sighs> Pretty crazy. There's a book that I read, or my parents read to me and my siblings when we were younger. It's called Rocks a Boxin. And what I will say is this kind of like landscape reminds me of Rocks a Boxin. I think the story goes something like the kids decided to all get together. They kind of lived out in sort of like a desert ish area. They all got together and they made a little, a, a little village, a little, uh, yeah, I guess it was a little village, a little town out of boxes and rocks. If you haven't read the book, you missed out. You can still read it though. I, uh, I think I saw it again as an adult and I was not disappointed actually. Unlike some of the other things I've consumed from my childhood as an adult. Yeah, doesn't this just remind you of Rocks of Oxen? It truly reminds me. We made it back, Mr. Krabs. And Jordan's talking about Chipotle, okay? He's talking about Chipotle. When is this gonna shut off? You mentioned it first. Yeah, no, I'm, that's what I was asking about. Also, don't tell anyone. We got these. And I'm gonna shove them in the vents in my car to make it smell a little bit like Christmas. Even though it's not even Advent. All right. <laughs> Do you notice how the needles are actually only on one side? Do you know why that is? For raindrops. I think it, I think it's because of the sun. I will have an update for you, you know, because I think Jordan's wrong. Yeah, I don't is. think it's because of the raindrops. I think it's because of the be sun. Serious. It collects rain the raindrops. Bye. Well, well, well. Good morning, Sunday morning. We uh, went to church with Sebastian and my father my brother and my father. And yeah, the uh, church was a kind of hippie church. So they were singing all of the good hippie hymns and all of the good, uh, the, the hippie mass setting, which I don't know what that is, but it sounds terrible. <laughs> and I don't know it, so it sounds even worse. Um, and now we're eating Aussie Bites and we are on our way to the great unknown. Um, no, just kidding, the- Mount uh, Mitchell. Mount Mitchell, okay. That's the Mount Mitchell. The Mount, the Mount Mitchell. It is, it is actually the Mount Mitchell the because- The one and only Mount Mitchell. Well, because it is the highest point east of the Mississippi. So that makes sense. And uh, what else are we doing? We are then going to Klingman's Dome and that's gonna be a wrap. Gonna be a wrap. Um, we're gonna be going back to the ATL after that. Praise God. Look at this. We're at 4,400 feet of elevation. We were just at 3,300 feet of elevation, so it's pretty crazy. We just went 1,100 feet. 1,100 feet. And uh, now we're here, and we have actually 2,200 feet left to go. Apparently, Mount Mitchell is 6,600 feet. I think this car right here is absolutely confused. They turn around like multiple times over here, but they're from New Jersey, so what, what can you expect, I guess? I'm just kidding. Uh, my best friend's from New Jersey. But yeah, this view is insane. Here we are. 
Made it to the top. It's bright. Look out there. Where is that? What what road is that? I'm kidding, it's not a road. What state is over there? Jordan. What? Trash. That's where you belong. <laughs> On our way to Klingman's Dome, and maybe you can find some men downstairs. I don't know what that means. The men's bathroom. The men's restroom. Craggy Gardens Visitor Center. Well, hello, Mr. Craggs. There's information over here. Jordan, you want to come see the information? Masks are optional. Oof. Close one. Hello. Hello, I am Kung Fu Panda. Is he, are you really close to my face? Kind of. Okay, can you back it off a little? I. Um, it's backed off a little. Well, I got video of that fat lady. <laughs> I was trying to get the river, but I missed it. Luckily, you got some sweet yeah. meat. That's what they call sweet meat down here in the south. <laughs> you know, um, when you have a little bit, you know, when you have a little extra, it's called sweet meat. You get to grab it. You can even like munch on it a little bit no huh? the the sweet meat is like the like the tender like your tender parts sweet meat is when you have a little extra no sweet meat is like down here whenever it hurts worse whenever you hit yourself or like right here how <laughs> exactly that's the sweet meat it's not as tough it's a terrible view it's a terrible shot you have to go farther down. You go farther down after we go up. You're gonna you gotta miss, go up. You're gonna, you're gonna miss it. Oh my god. Yeah. Alright, we're out here at Klingman's Dome. Actually, the view is insane. Also, if you decided to bring your bikes up, you can lock them up here. Very, uh, you know, very bike, biker friendly. We're, pre we're appreciative of that. And look out there. It's kind of awesome. I think this is even like a better vantage point than Mount Mitchell, actually. Uh, well, I guess we'll see when we get to the top. I think Jordan pretended to disappear on me. As I saw this breaking the trees, rem reminded me of Shades of Grey and not not uh, like 50 shades of gray, like just like four. Or maybe it's how many? One, two, three. Yeah, maybe yeah, like four. It's probably a little bit more than four. Okay, Jordan is Jordan is a 50 shades of gray sympathizer. Oh my God. There we go. <laughs> Here it is, Klingman's Dome. There's a little whip de doo up to the observation deck up there. Awesome. Card just flew, flew out of my pocket. Where? Down. It's literally in that tree. Is yeah. that it? Yeah. Oh, we can go get it, probably. All right. Well, anyways, here's the view. The view is crazy. Oh my god. Just get a new credit card. We're 
off to get the credit card, the credit card in the tree. There's the credit card. Right there in the tree. <laughs> All right, first of all, people need to leave no trace. I don't really get this cringe. There it is, get it. Hold Boop. No, nobody's gonna believe me. I believe you, it's right there. <laughs> there it is. No credit card information. I can always blur that out. Here, there you go. It's because your pocket wasn't zipped. Yeah. yeah, but how did the air like flow into my pocket enough to like pop it out of my pocket? Yeah, it's, it's... And then it like, I, I watched it. I literally watched it. It went whee in the air. Yeah, you're right, you're right. And then That was crazy. Landed in a tree. I literally, I literally was like watching it descend. I'm just glad you noticed it. And there was it. a guy next to me who looked over at me and was like, yeah, he witnessed it. He witnessed it happen. And I was like, well, dang. And he just kind of chuckled and then walked away. Well, what, what was he supposed to do? Was he supposed to offer to help you? I probably would have offered to help you. Well, I was a little worried that he was gonna go down there and try and get it himself. Come on. People are not that mean yet. Okay. All right, here is how we will end it with uh, Chipotle in hand. We have Chipotle back home, A. And on the way back, we actually listened to a four part series on Seventh day Adventists. Very interesting series of podcasts, and happy to be done with it. Very, uh, strange very weird if you're a christian um they are not like you they are not christian i'll leave you with that very unchristian of them to be that way very christian of me to pray before meals which i did good road trip Au revoir.